Hey, how's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Brock Tactical. Um, coming at you this evening. I'm going to make this video as short as I possibly can. It's very important, and so here it goes. I don't want any, direct, any distractions, so we're talking about number one, where of your surroundings. That's 360 degrees. So, you know, you're taking out, you know, let's just say you're going on a walk in your apartment complex late at night, you know, you're taking out the trash and you're taking your dog out. And, uh, you know, this is another example of why I tell people to go get some type of martial art training, you know, I mean, like serious combat training, you know, some, like, something. Because you, like, let's say, like, right now I'm carrying my bulldog holster, as you can see, my H and K, okay? So, let's say it's fully cocked and loaded, which it would be if I walk out of the house. And, you know, I'm taking the trash out, and, you know, I'm looking around, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, just shooting the breeze. I mean, I'm, I'm in my neighborhood, you know, I'm feeling safe. You're supposed to feel anyway, right? I moved out of the hood, so, you know, you figured, you know, Beach Grove, you know, uh, Indi you know Indiana, shouldn't have a problem, but there's a lot of meth problem, a lot of meth heads, you know, scooping around here in heroin, so, you know, things aren't as safe. As you guys all know, some of the prior situations that I preached about getting right, almost, you know, having to shoot, you know, like in a matter of three to four months, in 2020, I, ra I mean, I racked it up to like six six to like almost seven i think six those are around six yes like seven six or seven uh times that i would have been legally in the right now that i've really thought about it and thought back you know because things hit you so quickly when you have time to think you get okay that situation happened that situation happened oh that situation happened you know so yeah six to seven times in 2020 in less, in less than four months to four months, I was in the only, I would have been in the right to have shot and killed a dog and all the rest human beings. But because of my training, thank God, seriously, I didn't have to do that. I don't want to take anyone's life, man. I don't want to do that, but make no mistake. If you do not follow orders, and you're trying to run up on me, and you're trying to, you know, steal from me, or hurt me, and you're not complying with orders, there's nothing I can do. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to end your life. I'm sorry. You know, my dad always says, I'd rather be judged by six than carried out by, you know, what do you say? I'd rather go ahead and the same go. I'd rather be, you know, judged by 12 than carried out by six. So, yeah. I'll stick to that. So let's say you're walking, taking the trash out. Someone comes up, you know, up out of nowhere, and it's dark, you know, you're blind spot. You know, they go to reach for the gun on, on your side and they try to get your hand, get their hand in the pocket to get that gun. First thing you're gonna wanna do is pin their hand on there, but do not let them get in there. And then, boom, kick them back, break that knee. I'm serious. That's why I tell people to take martial art classes. Like, at, at least take, you know, I, I did Shori Karate. I mean, do Taekwondo, do whatever you want. I took Shori Karate, you know, and that's some brutal stuff. Look it up. So, you're walking, you're taking your trash out. Someone tries to grab, grab and grab and grab and drop the trash, hold them, boom, kick them back, put the light on them. You know, what are you doing? What are you doing? Put your hands up. Put your hands where I can see them. You know, empty your pockets. 
And at this point, they're blind. Empty your pockets. I got night sights on. I got them on target. I'm not from, and they're on the floor from this distance. And believe me, I just broke their knee. They're not getting up. So, empty their pockets. Even if they don't, that's what I'm saying. You have, don't just, you know, pin them and then break that knee, come out and fire because they may not have a weapon. And then if you're not, I'm not a member of USCCA yet, so I could, you know, be fighting a big dispute. So that's why I always say, they're going for your, you're walking, taking your trash out, someone comes in the side, tries to grab your gun, you pin their hand, boom, break that knee, come out, put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up, empty your pockets, empty your pockets, everything, now, you got to the count of three, and you always want to put in a threshold. You, you always want to give them a countdown. You want to scare them. So give them a countdown. I always give, usually give to the count of three. And that wakes people up real quick. So, and you say it in a very demanding way. And they, and believe me, they, they will follow instructions. And if not, they get in and they get up and run. Well, then the threats, you know, Dismembered and you know, he ain't running on his <laughs> I don't know why I said he'd get up and run because I just broke his knee literally. That person tries to reach in and grab at our gun. I'm pinning his hand right there. Boom! I'm kicking that knee straight back. He's believe me, he's done. And I'm pulling my firearm out, putting my torch on him, and I'm telling him, empty everything now. And I'm holding him there. I'm calling 911 and I'm holding them there and I'm going to make sure, you know, when I when I go out, I, 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 I have everything on either live stream or uh, my screen recorder on my, on my Samsung. I'm about to try to buy a camcorder. That's very important. I need to buy one ASAP. Like, I got the money to do it. I need to hurry up and do it. Um, sad it's came to that, but that's where it's at. So, and then you'll also notice, you know, there's situations where, I mean, this whole time you see distractions, distractions. You know, if someone tried to grab me by this, I, you know what I'm saying? And they try to choke me with this, and they're pulling, and they're pulling, and they're pulling. I push them back, boom, and let them have it, and let them fall back on their ass. And then while they're falling back on their ass, I'd be right here. And they come back at me again. <laughs> Knife's out. come at you and they're going to try to hug you block their arms block their arms boom and push them back and yes you can do that with a knife in your hand that'll cut yourself or you can block them unblock their arms they're, they're trying to come in boom and kick them straight back you know or Boom! Kick that knee in. Boom! And then rock him. I mean, this is what I mean by combat training. But more importantly, if someone's going for your firearm, especially at the six, because I carry at my six. You know, when like a lot when I'm when I'm wearing my jeans and I got my torch on. Um, I always, you know. You know, if I'm walking, you know, I usually just 360 around just to make sure. But if I ever, but if, but, but if I feel someone, you know, you're going to feel someone coming up behind you, you know, hurry up, get your hand on that gun, and turn around on them. 
But if, they, if you start to feel them grabbing, automatically pin, pin your hand back there again, pin it, boom, kick them back, pull it out. Same, same drill. Whether it's from the side or the back, it's the same drill. Do not let them get your firearm if you get caught off guard. And in that situation, do not go for your knife. Get the pin in. Because if you go for your knife, I mean, I mean, while they're pinned, sure. You could go for your knife, boom, and stab them, or stab them, you know? But, dude, the whole point is, you're not trying to kill anybody. The whole point is, yes, that would be a very good tactic, but if they're pinned, you got them pinned, boom, break that knee, and then come out, put that torch on them again, and tell them, you know, their knee is broke, they're on the ground, they're not going anywhere. And you sit there and you wait until 9 shows up. So, that's my drill for the day, and believe me, I've used it in a similar situation, but with a knife, not a gun. But believe me, it works. I had someone go for my knife while it was in my pocket, and I and I did that, and I did not call the cops, um, and broke his knee, and left him sitting there like an idiot, and uh, I kept scurrying on while his knee was broke, because that's what he deserved. You know, you went for my knife, I broke your knee. No harm, no foul. Whatever, brother. I know people that would have shot you. I know people that would have stabbed you. So, okay, that was the training lesson for the day. Uh, summer's coming up. I'm going to be. I'm going to try to so hard, man. Can, oh man, I got to get to the range. I mean, I've been doing a lot of out, like outdoor shooting, like, uh, like where I don't feel comfortable taking my phone because I got a bunch of other idiots out there firing, and I'm sorry, my phone ain't bulletproof. Otterbox ain't bulletproof. So, um, yeah. Uh, I need to go to Point Blank and uh, get some range, some, some recording range time in for you guys. But uh, that's just, the, these are, that was, that, that's the drill that you guys should practice. So remember, they're going for your gun and they're trying to get in your pocket. You pin their, you pin their arm down and then boom, Charles trying to do it slow. You pin that arm, you pin their arm down, boom, break their knee, stomp it, come back, torch out. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Everything out of your pocket. Take everything out. And at this point, I can turn my torch off. I have my knights on. I have them walk on target. He's less than not even a foot away from me, you know, so I don't need the torch anymore. Torch is just to blind and get his attention and scare, it's a scare tactic. And also to see what else he has, you know, and make him empty everything. And uh, obvious, obviously if he's going for your gun, he doesn't have a gun. Not always true, but 98, you never know. But you're still pointing right at him. So if he does anything that you don't like, and he's not following and complying rules, and he's not moving slow, yeah, air his ass out. Okay, it's your boy Brock Tactical, I'm out. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed that video. I have used that move, like I said, when someone tried to grab my knife, because I am left handed, and it was, in, it was in the pocket where my gun is right now, my bulldog holster with my torch on it, my low light, which is what I call torch, everybody knows that. If you shoot, you know, well, light, torch, torch, same thing, okay, and, um, yeah, he tried to go for my knife, and I pinned his arm, boom, broke his knee, and, uh, scurried off, and he's on the ground screaming in pain, I pushed his knee straight back like this, so, with that said, to what our tactical, be safe, and, uh, I'm even getting ready to buy, 10 round magazines for my H&K in case Joe Biden 
can get that universal background check law passed because I heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, I need people to comment on this. If you if he passes a universal background check, does that automatically mean, because I've done my studying, that 10 round magazines follow right into the, it, that like, universal background check. I heard somebody say if he, if he gets universal background checks in the play, then that also means that 10 round magazines are gonna have to uh, follow, they follow in that same law. So correct me if I'm wrong. I've done a lot of studying on it, can't get any solid info, but that's what I've, I've heard um, from some actual, like, decent, reliable sources. So if there's anybody out there that can correct me and say I'm right or if I'm wrong, either way, I'm about to buy, I'm about to go on online to H, H and K and buy a 10 round, one 10 round 40 mag, um, just for now, you know, just in case. Um, I'm not doing, trying to do anything major until the laws are getting passed. One thing I am going to do is stock up on some ammo though. Because everybody shoots 9 and 45, no one shoots 40. So I should, it should be plenty of it out there. Okay, it's your boy Broadcast Form out. Have God bless. God bless America. You guys be safe. And please comment on the video. Tell me what you think.